There's, there's, there's quite a few things come up over the next three and four months. Uh, firstly, the new Chicken Lips album, Experience of Malfunction, which is uh, a welcome return of uh, the Chicken Lips stuff. Uh, the electronic sound, uh, Johnny's vocals back again, Andy synths, Dean's drums, uh, some Tom Fulwery. It's, uh, it's, it's nice to be have some, have some Chicken Lips music out. And that's on our new label, Lip Service, which is uh, providing many of the releases for next year as well. Uh, then we've got the Cody Extra Band album, um, which is me and uh, some collaboration people like uh, Tiff McGuinness, uh, Crazy Girl, Carl Sly from Foods and Sly, uh, Max Esser, of course, my longtime uh, collaborator. Um, we've also got tracks, I think we've got in some stuff with um, Lindstrom as well, Chance Jane Paul. So it's like a, it's like um, just a sort of a comfy project of uh, little, little things I've been collecting over the years. And in February 2011, we've got uh, the world of progressive disco, which is a uh, uh, a sort of spoof compilation that I did with Max Sessa um, of progressive influence tracks uh, in, in our music, you know. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a quite healthy three or four months. Essentially, it's got the best of both worlds. It's got some of the songwriting credentials of the uh, Making Faces from Johnny, of course, and also got some more of electronic sound as well. So the synths are back. I think for DJing, you have to be uh, versatile and you have to be. Um, able to see what's going on on the floor and adaptable to what's going on, to change, to slow the mood, speed the mood up, to play some stuff that you, you know, I think it's just uh, selecting things at the right moment is more the key. Um, I wouldn't say I'm famous for my, uh, for my set, you know, just, so thank you for that, but no, it's more of, uh, I enjoy it, you know, I enjoy sort of, uh, See if I get the move right, that's what it's about. It's, it's a bit of risk taking and playing some stuff that people don't know and some people, stuff that people do know and sort of satisfying my own needs as a DJ as well. There's it's like a, a prism of different things that I kind of look to do, but essentially, you're just having a good time, having a good smile on your face and try and get people into the mood for the night, really, because people pay their money, they want to come to the club, they want to dance, they want to have a good time, so. I can't, yeah, exactly. It's trying to sort of uh, live up to those expectations of, you know, of a Saturday night, really. I mean, when you're an artist, you kind of, I'm not proud of anything, really. I, I'm proud of some stuff, but I always think I can do better, you know. I, I don't think there's one track I could I could rest my career on and say, oh, that was perfect. I, I don't need. If that happened, I wouldn't need to get up in, out of bed every morning. You know, there'll be something wrong. I always think that all my stuff's not very good and it could be better. So I think there's no no one track. There's some stuff. There's some moments I'm quite happy with. You know where the magic happened or something happened right on that set. But at the end of the day. I just kind of want to improve all the time, really. Um, I strive to improve, so I'm not happy with anything I've done, really. Oh, this 
so many. Uh, there's some there's some really great music coming out from all around the world. Really, there's um, some particular mentions for like um, a band coming out of Paris at the moment called Bon Voyage. Uh, originally, Les Aeroplanes. Uh, they had some stuff on met Metamatics and. Uh, yeah, we're doing some releases with them next year. I'm really positive about their stuff. It's really amazing. Um, uh, the Blackula stuff on Bear Funk, uh, Andre and Marco. Uh, it's just kind of not achievable by a lot everyone. The musicianship is just completely out there on its own. So that's that kind of music sort of uh, inspires me and gets me up in the morning uh, when I hear stuff like that. Um, to like even there's some I mean I, I spend most of my time collecting old music you know that's what I spend my money on to be completely honest with you I'm lucky enough to get a lot of new stuff sent to me or we release a lot of stuff through the label so I can play that but yeah there's so much good stuff out there there's some guys What's happening in Italy as well, there's a new uh, renaissance, as it were, you know, with you guys, uh, Fabrizio, the Mushroom Projects guys, um, I don't know, it's just endless, it's endless, there's so much good stuff coming out at the moment. No, tonight I'm looking forward to it, it's a, it's a good vibe tonight. Your boiling point. You still remember when you should have forgotten. Forgotten. Yeah, yeah.